everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a collaboration video with Beth aka Mortifé here on YouTube and we're going to be testing out the Barbie Glam Lights eyeshadow palette. I'm also going to be testing out some other Barbie makeup bits which I've absolutely been loving on my YouTube channel recently. I have loved this Barbie hype and I can't think of anyone better to pair this collaboration with than Beth because we both went to see the film together. We absolutely love the Barbie aesthetic so we thought this would be a fun video idea. We're going to be testing the Barbie Glam Lights eyeshadow palette. This came out last summer I think it was but the hype's all over it again and it's such a good palette I've really enjoyed wearing it for the film and we decided to do a collaboration video so I will pop Beth's video below in the bio so please go and check that out I'm sure whatever look she creates is going to be absolutely incredible so please head over to her video after you've watched this one and we're gonna get into testing this is the Barbie glam light eyeshadow palette it's called the dream summer palette I absolutely love the packaging I've loved using this in my real life and also in in the Barbie movie get ready with me video that I did do and it's definitely one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever it's absolutely stunning you get a full palette size mirror in there and as you can see the shades in here are so pretty they're very Barbie there's so many shimmers in here and the quality of glam light is absolutely out of this world this color story is so dreamy I can't even cope there's so many pinks purples teals I just think everything goes really well together and the shimmer quality is absolutely perfect I adore the glam light formula I do have the glam light donut and that's what made me fall in love with the brand but to see a barbie collaboration this is just absolutely perfect so we wanted to do a testing video with this just to see what looks we put together and as it's barbie season now we thought there's no better time to film this video than now around the film launch so that's what we're doing i just can't get over the color story in this i think it's stunning i love the way the teals go with the pinks and the purples and the gold in there i just think everything's so pretty so of course i'm going to be doing an eyeshadow look with this palette and I'm also going to be testing the other little makeup bits. Just to show you what I've got on my face so far, I have popped the NYX Greetings from Barbie Land Cheek Palette Blusher on. So this is what it looks like on my cheeks. I've used the pink shade today. I've absolutely been loving this. I've done many NYX Barbie collaboration videos. I love this collection so much. I definitely think this is my favourite collection from the year so far and probably ever. I've had so much fun with it and I love the pink blusher. This is what it looks like on my cheeks. I have tested out the peachy shade as well in another video. But I just thought this would be a really nice shade to use and it kind of complements the top well. So yeah, I'll use this shade. So that's what I've got on my cheeks for blusher. I will just show you this up close. This does retail for £10. It is the size of a bank card. Again, it's Barbie themed, obviously. I did use this top shade in here. Really love it for a pink blusher. I think it's stunning. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to pop this highlighter on. That's what the highlighter looks like when it's swatched. It's absolutely stunning. It's very pigmented. I think NYX was the perfect collaborator for the Barbie film makeup collection and as you can see from this it's just so pretty it literally looks like liquid gold we're gonna pop the highlighter on and then we'll get into the eyeshadow I can't explain how much fun I had with the NYX Barbie collection I did so many videos I absolutely loved the product themselves even if they weren't Barbie related I mean look at that shine and I think the themed videos really sort of sparked enthusiasm for me. So when Beth wanted to do this collab on the big glam light Barbie palette, I thought, yes, this will be a lot of fun. And we both kind of have very similar taste. I mean, look at that highlighter. It's so pretty. I'm just going to pop this on my, what do we call this? My forehead. <laughs> And then I'll just put that down there. I thought the whole collection was very well thought out. I thought the little palettes were cute as well. They're very unusual. They're very portable. And the quality, I mean... I just, I genuinely think this is one of my favourite palettes of the year so far. I've already said that about the collection, but this was so surprising. And we're not even doing the video about this and still I'm raving about it. That's what the NYX and Barbie cheek palette looks like. I love the blusher. I love the highlighter. I think it's absolutely stunning and I just, it's definitely one of my favourites. I just love it so much. We have also got the NYX It's a Barbie Party Butter Gloss. So I'm going to pop this on now. I've spoken about this quite a lot in my videos. I love the packaging. I think the see-through packaging with the Barbie logo on the lid is so adorable it's very bright pink as you can see from the applicator that i just i loved it i loved it so much i picked up a second just as a backup and this nyx collection did sell out so quickly so if you are looking to get it i would run to superdrug now just to catch the last bits of the collection it just flew off the shelves and this one does smell of cake which is just everything and this butter gloss literally matches my bobble and my top perfectly 
And of course, in this collection, we did get the little Barbie phone mirror. I've been using it to film with. It's been so good. You can just see this lip gloss is so cute. And that's what the lip gloss looks like. It's very Barbie pink. I love the formula. I love the way it sits on your lips. It feels really light. I love the smell of it. I can literally smell cake or birthday cake. It's so nice. I love the pink. It's just the perfect Barbie pink. I love it so much. Can I say love any more in that sentence? Onto the Glam Light Barbie eyeshadow palette. I've just primed my eyes with the Revolution Super Base. I don't know where to start with this. I haven't planned a look or anything. I just know I love every single colour in here. I have filmed with a couple of purples and the pink from this palette in my Barbie movie Get Ready With Me video. I definitely want to start with this pink again because I think it's so pretty. And then we're just going to follow my heart. I'm not going to plan and the look I'm just going to sort of go with it but we're going to go in this play day colour first it's this absolutely beautiful pink and what I love about this palette is all of the colours go so well together I really think you could do pretty much anything there's even some neutral colours in there but we're going to go with the bright colours for this video I'm going to start by going in this play day shade and pick up for glam light on the brush is incredible look at the pigment on that and it looks exactly like the shade of my t-shirt and my bobble so I'm very happy about that and I'm going to use my little Barbie Nyx mirror to film this. I'm just going to use that pink to form a wing. I'm so excited to see what Beth does with this. I'm sure whatever she does it's going to be incredible. I definitely want to make this a pink leaning look just because I want it to go really well with the top that I'm wearing but as you can see so far just from that one pick up on the brush the pigment is absolutely beautiful. It literally looks like a neon highlighter. I think I said that before. It's so pretty. And I think it goes really well with that lip gloss as well. I'm going to take that a little bit further over the lid. And I think the Barbie collection from Glam Light was so cute. It did sell out very quickly. I did get this palette very late to the party. But I'm so glad I managed to get hold of it. I absolutely love that pink. I'm going to go back in that Play Day shade. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. If you've been with my channel a while as well, I'd be interested to know, what do you think about the lighting? I have set up three lights in my little room now, which I've been loving so much. It's made life so much easier. And I think it probably looks a lot better for you lot as well. Just to see the makeup a little bit better, what do you think? And also, I'd love to know your opinions. Have you been to see the Barbie film? We went on the Sunday it was launched. I think it came out on the Friday and we went on the Sunday. I loved it so much. I think we both got quite emotional in it, actually. There was a part in there where I think everyone choked up. That's what it felt like anyway. Everyone I've spoken to who's been to see it sort of said the same kind of thing, which I think that's a good sign of a film being powerful when everyone's saying the same sort of thing. I absolutely love that pink. I genuinely don't need to put anything else on. I'd be so happy with just pink all over my eyelid, but we're gonna try with another color at least. That's what I've got on my eyes so far. I'm loving that pink. I genuinely would have that all over my eyelid and be happy, but we are gonna try a couple of other shades. I think for this next one, I'm gonna go in the shade Chillin, which is this beautiful lavender purple color. For this one, I'm just gonna tap on the inner corner like that. I am gonna take it onto the inner, inner corner and then just blend it out a little bit. I absolutely adore these colours together. I think they're so stunning and glam light palettes do blend really easily. I had so much fun with them before. I just really like the way it looks. I think the colours complement each other really well and I think the fact it's a Barbie theme is inspiring in itself. I've really loved the themed content and to be honest I think I've filmed more than I ever have in my life in a short period of time when it was the Barbie theme just because I felt really inspired by it so I guess that's really nice. I'm just going to deepen that out a little bit. I want a little bit more of the purple. I think it's such a beautiful colour and then the same on this side. And I'm going to play with the shimmers as well. I'll probably add some glitter. I just wanted a Barbie themed look today just to test out the Barbie makeup. And I love those colours. And this is what I mean about the Glam Light formula. I feel like they blend so easily and the colours go really nicely together. I just think there's so much you could do with this. I want to put some of this teal colour on. It's sort of staring at me there. <laughs> so we're going to pop some of that on. I'm going to take my waterline brush in the shade Leave a Message, which is that teal colour. And I'm just going to take that under the waterline and then out the wing a little bit. This is very different to something I've done before. I've not done anything like this but I'm going to try and make it work. just want to test out some more colours and I'll do the same on this side. I'm just going to run that under the pink on the wing. 
I've been loving experimenting recently. I really just want to learn and get better. And I think the only way I'm going to do that is by pushing myself out of my comfort zone. And I have been doing that, to be honest. But we'll see. Practice makes perfect. And I enjoy it. That's the main thing. Oh, I actually quite like that. It's only a little bit of the teal, but I think it contrasts with the lilac and the pink really well. Next, I'm going to take my waterline brush in Chillin' again. And I'm just going to use that to bring some purple on the inner corner, just under the waterline. I really love that Chillin' purple shade. It's so pretty. And I do find putting makeup on very relaxing. I find the whole video process very relaxing. It is my favourite thing to do in my spare time. So if you like that kind of thing, I do upload three times a week. So it'd mean the world if you'd subscribe. I really like that. I definitely want to use some shimmers now. I'm going to take my little finger in the shade How I Roll, which is this beautiful ultraviolet kind of lavender looking shade. It's so pretty, so bright. And for starters, I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner. And the same on this side. I love inner corners that have a colour tinge. I've been liking the lilac ones and the pink ones so much. And I am also going to take that shade again on my little finger. And I'm just going to tap that up slightly over here. Just to bring a little bit of that brightness to the inner corner. <gasps> oh, I love that. Wow. I think the Glam Light shimmer formulas are so glowy. I absolutely love them. And the colour is just so pretty. Next, I'm going to go in the shade Out of Office. I'm just going to take my middle finger. That's what it looks like. It's kind of got a pinky tint to it, this one. And I'm just going to tap that on the centre of the lid. You can really see the purple reflect. I just think these shimmers are so fairy-like. They're so pretty. Don't know how to describe them other than that. <gasps> wow, the way the light reflects off them is the best ever. And they're really delicate as well. So I feel like you could have any colour shadow matte underneath and it would still show the colour through, but you've still got that really nice metallic shine to it. I just love them so much. And I did find the same formula with the donut as well, which I'm definitely going to do another video on, but I found the same thing. I just thought the shades are so pretty. Next, I'm going to go in the shade Sunkissed. I haven't actually tested a pink shimmer from this yet. Wow, that's what it looks like. It almost looks identical to my top and my bobble, so I think this is going to work. I just want to tap this slightly on the outer corner. I just to deepen it out with a little bit of a pink shine probably could use a brush for this but i quite like using my fingers to blend out shimmers I find it more fun Ooh, and the same on this one i definitely think this is going to be the palette that i take to cream fields with me i can see it going with every outfit choice that i've got i just love that so much i'm going to take my little winged brush and i'm going to go in the shade vaco down here i definitely think you could do a full-on seafoam green look with this that's what the shade vaco looks like and it's very pretty i definitely want to go back in this palette and do a full green look i think that would be a lot of fun and for this i'm just going to tap on the green that we've set down just to give it a little bit of a shine I really like that. And the same on this side. I just think Glam Light is such a good brand. It's quite hard to get hold of in the UK. But apart from the Barbie NYX collection, I'd probably say this could be my favourite palette. Now I've played around with it quite a lot. I just enjoy it. I love the colour story. I think the quality is amazing. I actually really like that green in the wing. I've never done that before. <laughs> I like experimenting. I'm going to take this Born Ready shade now. It's just a beautiful little lilac with a green kind of tint. That's what it looks like there. You can kind of see a green toned colour shift to it. It's very pretty. And for this, I am just going to tap here because I want to brighten that up just a little bit. And then I think I'm happy with this look. I don't want to do too much more to it because I just think it's very pleasing to my eye as it is. So I kind of want to leave it as it is. I love these colours. What I find as well, they all have different reflects in. So even though they've got a purple sort of base tone to them, they've got lots of other colours that shift through them, like blues, greens, pinks. So it makes them shine differently. I love them. <laughs> That's what I've got on my eyes using the Glam Light Barbie palette. I'm going to pop some mascara on, then we'll hear my thoughts. I'm going to use the Barbie mascara from Primark. I have got mascara on already, but I want to just top it up. It has been on quite a while today. This is what it looks like. I did get it for a bargain price of £2, and I'll probably use it in YouTube videos in the future as well. But I did really like this. It was rather lightweight. 
Just to finish the look off now, I'm going to use the W7 Lip Topper. This is such a sparkly lip topper. I've been absolutely loving it. It's very glittery. As described, it's perfect for just popping on lip gloss, lip balm, that kind of thing. And I'll just show you on my hand a little swatch. So you can see it's got a kind of pearlescent glitter that runs through it. It's very pretty. And this is also good to wear by itself. I have done that a few times. And as you can see, it just adds a little bit of glitter and a pretty shine, so I'm very happy with that. And I think these two as a combination are just perfect. That's my finished look using the Barbie makeup and primarily the Glam Light Barbie eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love these things. I think the NYX Greetings from Barbie Land cheek palette will be my favourite for a long time to come. Highly recommend this if you like a nice pink Barbie blusher or you like peach tones. The highlighter is definitely one of my favourite things from the whole NYX collection. I love this so much. The little NYX Butter Gloss, recommend this as well. I've been wearing it day to day and I think it's such a stunning colour. The little Barbie Primark Mascara I do really like this. I think it is quite lightweight. You can see it has given my eyelashes volume. And I think for £2, it is really cute. I love the packaging. And finally, the Glam Light Barbie Eyeshadow Palette. First things first, I can't wait to see what Beth does with this. I bet she does something absolutely incredible. The formula of this is beautiful. I can't think of anything bad to say about it. It just brings me so much joy. I don't know what else to say. I mean, look at the colours on my eyelids. Look at the colours in the pans. They are just gorgeous. I've got no more words. <laughs> and looking at the shimmers and the way the light's hitting them in the pans and on my eyelids, they are just pretty flawless, to be honest. I highly recommend this if you can still get hold of it. It is such a fun little palette. I love the Barbie theme. I think it's very on trend right now. And there's so much fun to be had with this. I think if you like this kind of colour story, this is the only thing you need. When I look at this, I could just happily... I mean, I'm not going to get rid of all my makeup, but I mean, you know, if I had to have one palette, probably this would be it. That is quite a big statement, but that's how how much I love it. And I had so much fun with this. I think the whole Barbie little area of my life has been so much fun and I intend to do more Barbie videos and more just fun themed videos because I can't tell you how happy this has all made me. As I said, I can't wait to see what Beth creates using the Barbie Glam Lights palette. I will leave her video linked below. I'm definitely going to be taking this to Creamfield. I mean, how could I not? Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more makeup, beauty and hair videos, I do upload three times a week. It would mean the world if you you could subscribe to me and if you want to see more you can follow me on instagram that's at zoe glitter zoe with a y where i just post makeup beauty girly things like that and i really enjoy it i would love to know your thoughts on the barbie glam light palette what do you think of it for me definitely as i've said one of my all-time favorites and i can't wait to do more videos with it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye